Hey there, home athletes. Happy Tuesday. Workout for you today. Actually, two pieces. We have the main workout with some double unders and some sit ups. And then I have a midline finisher for you to work that core a little bit. Um, first things first, though, let's go over the main workout. We have uh, two movements, right? So we have a couplet of the jump rope and the sit ups, descending rep scheme. We're doing 50 of each movement 50 50, and then 40 40, 30 30, 20 20. And the very last round will be 10 double unders and 10 sit ups. Um, double unders, of course. Uh, if you have a jump rope, awesome. You got double unders, even better. Um, do the numbers as they're written. Um, if you have a jump rope, but you can't do double unders yet, double all those numbers and do single unders, right? So you do 100, 80, 60, 40, and 20 with single unders with a jump rope. If you don't have jump rope, uh, can't do jump rope at your house or whatever. Let's turn those into over the dumbbell hops, right? You got your dumbbell or some similar type object. That's probably about maybe, what is that, like four inches tall. So let's go across and back for one rep, right? Across and back counts as one, in which case you would cut all those numbers in half, right? So you go 25, 20, 15, 10, and five. But every rep is across and back over the dumbbell or whatever you're jumping over. Um, and then sit-ups, of course. I happen to have an ab mat here. I don't know if you have an ab mat. Uh, if you have one, use it. If you don't have one, I think I've mentioned this before, you can get like a bath towel and fold it up a couple times so it's about that width. And fit, fit that underneath your lower back. It works really well. You know, it kind of fits right into that lumbar curve and helps you support your low back. Uh, two different styles of sit-ups. We can either go feet together, knees together, which, you know, is, is definitely a sit-up. Down and up. Usually it helps, you know, we engage our hip flexors, our hip flexors are there to help us with movement. So it's a little less to focus on the abs. If you really want to focus on those abs, butterfly style is a little bit better for that. Press those knees out to the sides. This sort of uh, takes our hip flexors out of the equation a little bit and forces us to use the, use the abs more. But either way you do is think about keep staying, sitting up nice and tall, right? It's very easy to round the back and kind of hunch over which sort of disengages the abdominals. We don't want that, so sitting up nice and tall. I like to think about kind of reaching the top of my head up towards the ceiling at the top of the movement and actually throughout the movement. So we go all the way down, and then you know, reach that top of that head up towards the ceiling as you do your sit-ups. <laughs> Ideally, we're going all the way down the floor, pull the head tall, and ending up with the shoulders slightly ahead of the hips for that big, nice, full range of motion, all right? So, once again, 50, 50, 40, 40, 30, 30, 20, 20, 10, 10, jump rope first, then sit ups going back and forth. And yes, I know there is core work in the workout with sit ups, um, and then there's also core work in the finisher. Same idea, a couplet of two movements, descending rep scheme in the midline finisher. So we have 21, 18, 15, 12, and 9. Again, 21, 21, 18, 18, get the idea. Um, so kettlebell swings, ideally what I'd like to see you doing is some heavy Russian kettlebell swings. So I don't know what you have at home, ideally something on the heavier side, Russian swings, um, you have a kettlebell, you have a dumbbell, but Russian swings are just going to shoulder level right here, belly nice and tight, keep that belly, you know, brace those abs throughout the entire movement, and then squeeze the butt really hard as those hips come to extension. So squeeze there, squeeze there, right? Because our butt, those glutes are part of your core, right? So we're working the belly, working the abs, working the glutes. It's all part of that midline. And then Russian twists. This is a cool one. Works our obliques, right? It's a twisting motion. So it works our internal, external obliques. Um, helps make that waistline a little bit tighter. Um, this can be done a variety of ways. So without weight, you're sitting on the floor, legs extended. We're gonna start with those knees bent. We're gonna lean back just a little bit, kind of at a 45 degree angle. You can feel this immediately, forcing you to engage your abs. We can go two ways. You can keep those heels on the floor, make it a little bit easier. If you can, try to get those heels off the floor. And you can do this totally without weight. We can just touch, 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 touch. You can feel it working already. If you can, if you want to. Grab a light weight. And this could be, it doesn't even have to be that heavy. Five pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds, something like that. 
but we can kind of hold that weight and same idea. Touch to the floor, touch to the floor, touch to the floor, touch to the floor. Excellent movement. So a little bit of a lean back to engage the abs. If you can, keep those heels kind of floating off the floor and then twist and twist and twist. And we're trying to not just kind of reach the hands like this. We actually do want to try and twist the torso to get that full effect on our obliques. Um, so that's your midline finisher. Don't worry about time on that second one, the, uh, the midline. Take your time, get it done. 21 of each, 18 of each, just as like before. All right, good little workout there. Got some cardio stuff with your jumping. Lots of core work today. We all need that, right? Have a great workout. Talk to you tomorrow.